Today I would like to talk about vacuum mounting paper or canvas onto either a hardboard surface or onto multimedia artboard. These are the materials that you're going to need to have. A straight edge, cutting tools, a cutting surface, a brayer or roller, soft gel, gloss medium, a palette knife, wax paper, vacuum bags. This happens to be one of the space bags, but I also found for smaller works that the one gallon um, Ziploc vacuum bag works extremely well. And your piece of mounting paper, mounting board, or a piece of hardboard that's been prepared. And this I take, cut, I sand it, I then seal it with a GAC uh, sealer and before I do any of the mounting on it and then you need to have a vacuum pump or a shop vac depending on which bag you use. Uh, so the multimedia art board is a wonderful little uh, resin impregnated board. Um, the piece of paper that you use can be decorative or it can be plain watercolor paper depending on what you want to do with it and I will sometimes take mount these and then put a riser on the back and raise it off the surface and that's why I like to have some of these pieces mounted on hardboard. So that's where we're going to begin. We're going to show you how I did this particular uh, sample and we'll go from here. So I'm all laid out here ready to adhere this piece of paper to my base. My base is a very brittle paper called Multimedia Artboard. It's a resin impregnated paper. It tends to be not very pliable and rather brittle, but it, it's a fabulous surface to work on. The paper that I'm using is a uh, printed paper from the Middle East. It has a shiny side and it has a flat side. I'm going to place that flat side up at the moment. I have my soft gel gloss, my palette knife, my roller, my vacuum pump, and the bag. And I've already put a piece of wax paper in here that's been folded in half so that I'm prepared for the paper to go in. And it is slightly larger than my work surface. Now the best part about this technique is that it works very well on not only small pieces like this, but with a large space bag I can actually do some larger size mason, masonite or hardboard panels. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the gel medium and this is the soft gel. I happen to like the soft gel and I'm going to try and distribute it across the surface of this multimedia artboard. And I'm trying to get fairly thin even coverage I don't want it too terribly thick, but I want to make sure that I have every bit of it covered with a bit of this gloss gel medium. Uh, any excess can go right back into the container. It's not contaminated. One thing I was very careful of was to make sure that I had a piece of board that was totally clean with no marks on it. Take my paper, flip it over, and place it on the uh, multimedia artboard and then just lightly roll it to give it good contact. Now this paper is very thin and it's going to show any imperfections at all. So I did have a little bit of oozing out as you can see here but that will be taken care of inside the bag. Pull the wax paper out. Place it between the wax paper put it back inside the bag and this bag you seal it from one end to the other make sure you have a nice tight seal and then here's the vacuum portion of it I'm going to take a little piece of paper and wipe up this material so I don't get my bag all stuck in it um, here's the vacuum portion I just take the pump place it on the dot and just hand pump this 
and you can see the air coming out of it and it's starting to form a vacuum and I've got a nice vacuum seal around this piece of paper and the multimedia artboard and you can see that it's just a very nice finish I'm going to let this stay in here for about 30 minutes to make sure everything gets into place and then I'm going to bring it out of here and I'll let it dry thoroughly and then I'll trim it. Okay this has been sitting at least a half hour and I'm ready to pull it out so I'll break the vacuum and then I will peel back the wax paper and let this dry but you can see that there are absolutely flawless surface no air bubbles at all now this is going to have to dry for probably an hour or so and then we'll trim it up and it'll be ready to cut up and use well this is pretty much dry now and one of the things I want to do is trim it up a little bit so I will get my cutting board out again uh, I have a nice sharp blade and I'm going to need a straight edge. So I will just turn it over to this side, line up my cutting edge and just very carefully cut through this material. It uh, can be a little time consuming, but it's worth it in the long run because you'll get a very nice looking finished piece. So take your time when you're doing this step. And the last cut. And there it is. There's the finished piece. Now I can cut this down into other sizes or other shapes now that I've got it all mounted and everything. And I think you can see the importance of having a, a, a very clean white surface underneath because the backing tissue is so fine and so thin. Now I also do the same thing with paper on masonite. And I start with a piece of masonite that I've sanded and sealed with a, a golden product. And then I use the same application. The only difference being, instead of using a, a small bag, I use one of these large uh, space bags. And you definitely want something bigger than the piece. And you want to use the wax paper as a separator again. And the same principles apply. You just make sure that you have plenty of medium on there. You make sure that it's a nice smooth surface. You put them in the vacuum bag face down so that it's not near the valve on wax paper and then just vacuum seal it with a vacuum cleaner and uh, this is the result they have a nice uh, nice surface this piece happened to be painted uh, before I put it on the surface and the reason I did that is because I want to take and add another piece on top of it that's going to make it more dimensional and uh, I'm hoping to make it nice and rigid so that it holds up better. So that's it for the vacuum myth, uh, method and I think it's pretty effective in the way it works and I like the results. I've also done this with canvas on hardboard and had much the same results. Uh, it's a little bit trickier with canvas but it can still be done. Uh, just be very careful and take your time doing it. Hope you enjoyed this.